Hey, what's up guys? It's Duct here and today we're going to be talking about all of the different types of rods and baits and like which levels you can get different rods at and which ones I suggest personally using because they're like the most cost effective or just simply the best at each different point in your fishing career. So yeah, anyways, I hope y'all do enjoy. All right, so first we're going to go over the beginning rods. So these are going to be the rods if you're just starting out fishing. If you haven't really been fishing before, uh, you're going to want to be using these rods. So now the first rod you're probably going to have to use is just your good old regular fishing rod. So to craft a good old regular fishing rod, you're going to need three sticks that you're going to place in the crafting table in the bottom left, the middle, and the top right. And you're also going to have to put two string in the middle right and the bottom right and that will get you your fishing rod. So this rod, it's not gonna have any special abilities. It's not going to fish faster than all the other normal rod. It's, you know, it's just a normal rod. Uh, you you may want to enchant it. Uh, if you are, the only enchant I would really suggest mainly needing on it would be Lure 5, uh, because Lure 5 just in general is very, very useful. It decreases uh, the amount of time it takes to catch a fish by 25%. Uh, without having that, of course, it would take a long time to fish, especially with a normal rod as that has no speed boost. Now, after you've been using your good old fishing rod for a little while, you're probably going to want to move on to something a little bit better. So here you're going to have a couple options. One that doesn't require a certain fishing level is going to be the Prismarine rod. So the Prismarine rod, it you go if you click on your Nether Star, you can go to Collection. Uh, the fishing collection and it's right here under the prismarine shard collection it's prismarine shard four uh, so you do need either a hundred uh, prismarine shards collected to craft it or you can buy one on auction house which they're not very expensive to buy and what they do is they have a base damage of 15 and it grants a 25 percent chance to catch prismarine shards or prismarine crystals so once you get the once you get one, you're going to get lots of shards and crystals. So it's going to be really good for that. Uh, and it will also increase your fishing speed by 10%. Now 10% isn't a ton, but it is a little bit better than the base one. And it still has no level requirement. Also, to craft one, if you did have the 100 shards collected from your just using your regular fishing rod, uh, you could craft it with two prismarine shards, a prismarine crystal, and two string. You can also just ask a friend that does have the recipe to craft one for you because they're very, very cheap to craft. But I imagine on the auction house, they're not going to go for a very large amount of coins. So if you do want, you could possibly just buy one of these to start out fishing with as there is no level requirement for it. Now, after you've been using your prismarine rod or, you know, your good old rod, you know, the good old OG regular rod, <laughs> you're, you're going to want to move on to something a little bit better. Now, what would this be? So the first rod that requires a level is the Speedster Rod, which you can get at Raw Salmon 5. So at Raw Salmon 5, which is 500 salmon collected, you can craft the Speedster Rod. So the Speedster Rod has 30 base damage. Hitting a monster gives a burst of speed, so you can get a little bit of speed boost from it, but really, you're really not focused on that part from this. Uh, primarily, the important part is it increases your fishing speed by 30% which is really good. Uh, it actually lets you, it's a 20% increase over the prismarine rod and a 30% increase over the regular good old fishing rod. Now, of course, once you get the speedster rod, you might want to actually enchant it a little bit further than you did your just regular rod or prismarine one, because this one you might be keeping a little bit longer. Uh, you do need fishing level five to use it. Uh, so, you know, it does require a little bit of prior fishing uh, not really that much, though, to get to fishing level 5, but it does require a little bit. Uh, now, the crafting recipe is 96 salmon and 2 string. Uh, now, of course, getting 500 salmon, you would have 96 salmon to craft it. The other option, as always, is you can buy one off the auction house, but do be warned, you can't use it until you have fishing level 5. Alright, so now, what would you use after the speedster rod? So, generally, after the speedster rod, the next step is going to be a farmer's rod. Now the problem with a farmer's rod is it does require clay five, which is 2,500 clay collected, which is quite a bit. Uh, it's not exactly a small amount. Uh, we actually just got it. So really the way to get this is going to be a clay minion. Now you do have to fish up some to get a clay minion. 
which is going to be 50 uh, clay collected to unlock the recipe. And then to craft one, it's going to be 80 clay around a wooden uh, pickaxe. Now, basically, the only way to get clay right now is going to be, well, the clay collection is going to be from fishing. Uh, you're going to catch it every now and then from fishing. Now, the other option is trading someone for a clay minion, but of course, that's a little hard to do. So, eh, it's questionable. But, the thing is, it's actually a really good rod that you can unlock at clay 2500 collected, or clay 5. It's called the Farmer's Rod. So, this Farmer's Rod, it has a base damage of 45, and it gives you a chance to fish up farm animals. Now, the farm animals thing, it really doesn't help you that much, so, like, honestly, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but it is part of there. It's kind of like the speedster rod thing. It gives you a burst of speed. Well, you don't really care about that, but it's there. Uh, but you will be fishing up like cows, pigs, chickens every now and then. It's pretty rare unless they change that. Uh, but it, it was pretty rare when I used one uh, temporarily. Uh, it increases your fishing speed by 40%. So it's going to be the greatest amount of fishing speed increase that you'll have. Now, of course, if you had the speedster rod already and you enchanted it to like max, you might just want to keep using that. It is only a 10% difference, but that will make a difference. But you know, still, it is only 10%. Uh, and it to craft one, of course, you do need clay five to craft it, uh, but it takes a stack of hay bales, one enchanted clay and two string, you know, which isn't really that expensive. So if you have a friend that can craft them, they might be willing to craft you one, you might be willing to buy one on the auction house. Uh, they're not going to go for that much. They're not going to go for that cheap either. Uh, so it's up to you in that department, but it does require fishing level eight to use. So keep that in mind. Uh, it basically, it, it's the next progression over the speedster rod, uh, but it's not that big of a difference uh, in terms of actual speed, but it is a difference, of course. All right, so another rod that you can use, this is more in also the beginner category as well. It's going to be something that you can use around the time that you're using the prismarine rod and the uh reg just regular rod uh so it is the sponge rod uh this fishing rod grants a 20 percent chance to catch a sponge it also uh, increases your fishing speed by 20 percent now i don't know if this one has a level requirement uh but if you do catch one sponge you'll unlock the sponge collection and it will tell you when you click on this when you're scrolling over it, if there is a level requirement that you do not meet and if you don't meet it, it's going to be a low level requirement. Like it's going to be less than level five, 100%. Uh, it, it might be like fishing level like two. I, I don't know for sure, but uh, it, it's probably none. There, there's probably not a requirement. Uh, and it increases your fishing speed by 20% uh, as well, which is faster than the Prismarine rod. Now to craft one, uh, it, it is like 20% sponge collection so you might be able to get that just with the normal rod uh, i don't know um, but basically uh, you'll have three sponge in a diagonal like so and two string like that and you can craft yourself a sponge rod uh, and you can get increased you basically get a chance to catch sponge all right now we're on to actually the rods that you might be using later on so these are going to be in the lily pad collection so this lily pad collection it's going to be what you're focusing on primarily. Uh, you cannot get lily pads from fishing minions, which is unfortunate because it's the main kind of collection that really matters in terms of your fishing progression. So the first rod you unlock here is the challenging rod. It's at 500 lily pad collection and it requires fishing level 10 to use. Uh, its base damage is 60 and it increases sea creature catch rate by 5%. Uh, and it also increases your fishing speed by 50%, so it's actually pretty good. Um, it's what I've been using uh, yesterday and like part of the day before. I started with, like, I basically used a regular rod for a while, and then I went up to a farmer's rod, and then I went up to this rod uh, yesterday, and then today I'm on to the next rod we're going to be talking about uh, after this one. But basically, let's focus on the challenging rod here. Uh, so it does a base damage of 60, it increases sea creature catch rate by 5%, and it increases fishing speed by 50%. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, so you're definitely going to be using this rod for a decent while uh, because getting to the next lily pad collection does take a while unless you have like a group of five co-op or something, then well, that's not gonna be a problem, but you know. Uh, so to craft it, as I said, you're also going to need the 500 lily pad collection. 
Uh, but to craft it, once you do have that, is going to take eight stacks of lily pads around a fishing rod. So basically, once you get the collection, you're pretty much going to be able to craft it if you're a solo uh, or if you're like the only one fishing. Uh, but if you do have a co-op, you might not have enough uh, lily pads unless everyone's pitching in for one person to get it. To get all the lily pads, it's going to take. You're going to get them from killing sea creatures. So uh, for we'll talk about baits in a bit. But really, you're going to be wanting to fish at spawn uh, or in some sort of spawn area uh, to increase your chances of finding sea creatures, especially at the lower fishing levels, uh, because they're really what's going to... That's the only way to really get lily pads. So to get your lily pad collection up quickly, you're going to want to be fish fishing at spawn. All right, now on to the Rod of Champions. So that's what I'm using right now. Uh, it has a base of 85 damage. And it increases sea creature catch rate by 10% and fishing speed by 60%. So basically this rod has a 5% more greater uh, sea creature catch rate and a 10% faster fishing speed over the challenging rod. Which is also going to be the same thing for the rod of legends. So basically this rod is going to be a progression based rod. So you unlock it with a challenging rod. And then you can move on to the rod of champions uh, which requires a challenging rod to craft. And you move on to the rod of legends which requires a champions rod to craft. Uh, and basically you're slowly improving it by adding more lily pads to it. Uh, now to craft the Rod of Champions, you do need 3,000 lily pads collected. Uh, and it's not exactly the cheapest craft, but it could be more expensive. It requires 8 enchanted lily pads, which is 160 lily pads times 8. Uh, I don't know exactly what that is in my head, uh, but you do need that many lily pads. Um, or 2.5 stacks of lily pads uh, per enchanted lily pads so it's 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 a little bit expensive to craft in terms of lily pads uh, that will probably take you a while but it definitely is worth it uh now on to the best rod in the game it's the rod of legends but it requires ten thousand lily pad collection and to go with that it's going to cost you two stacks of enchanted lily pads so it's not cheap at all uh, as I said, each enchanted lily pad takes two and a half stacks of lily pads, so you're going to be looking at quite a lot of fishing to get this Rod of Legends, but this Rod of Legends is very good. It has a base damage of 100, and it increases sea creature catch rate by 15%, and increases fishing speed by 70%. So it is the best rod in the game by far right now. Uh, so I assume at some point they're going to be adding better rods than this. Uh, but for now, this is going to be the best rod obtainable, and uh, yeah, it, it's not going to be cheap to obtain. I think a couple people may have it now, but not very many, and these are primarily people that fished a ton before they did the fishing update. Uh, so primarily people that were like fishing for Titanic bottles before, and selling them on Auction House and stuff, that got fishing up to like 20 before even the update came. Uh, so then they were able to basically get the lily pads very quickly. Uh, compared to, you know, someone that hadn't been fishing at all. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but it's still, it's an extremely good rod, and you're going to want to get it eventually. Alright, so that's going to be all for the rods. But now we're on to the baits. You know, these lovely things that I'm holding in my hand. Uh, so this is called the spiked bait, the one I'm holding right now. This is the one that I generally use a lot. So the people that I've asked that fish in the day... Uh, they generally or fish. They generally say that using spiked bait is the best for when fishing in the day, and then they say the best bait for fishing in the night is dark bait. But they, for some reason, say that uh, light bait is actually really bad compared to dark bait. Why? I'm I'm not sure why really. I I, I don't know. I I, it, I don't know why they technically should be the same thing. I'll show you here in a second. It, it really doesn't make sense. But yeah, so spiked bait. Uh, the one I have here, you're going to craft using one puffer fish and one raw fish. And you're going to have it like so in the crafting table, a raw fish in the middle and a puffer fish in the bottom, and you can craft yourself some spiked bait. Now this does stack, so that's very nice. And what it does, it increases sea creature spawn rate by 15%, uh, which when used at spawn and using uh, angler armor, which you're going to want to be using, by the way, uh, what it does is it reduces sea creature damage and increases sea creature spawn chance. Uh, and using angler armor, it's from the raw fish collection. It's raw fish five, so 500 raw fish to craft it. Uh, 
well, the collection 500 raw fish, and then it only takes 24 raw fish to craft. So if you have a friend that has unlocked the collection, or even just someone at spawn sitting around, or, or even, actually, you know, if you see someone fishing near you, and they seem like they they have like a pretty high level stuff, or they're just wearing this armor that looks like mine, uh, and you ask them nicely, they might be willing to just craft it for you if you give them the 24 raw fish, or even they may give it to you for free, uh, because, yeah, some people, you know, fishing people are nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, anyways, back to the spiked bait. So the spiked bait, uh, it's going to come from the Pufferfish 5 collection, uh, which is 400 uh, Pufferfish collected uh, to be able to craft it. Uh, and as I said, it does take one raw fish and one puffer fish, and this is generally what I use most of the time. Uh, but it's really good during the day, uh, but at night, people prefer to use the dark bait. Now, the dark bait is in the ink sack collection. It's from the level 2 ink sack collection. Okay, so ink sacks you're going to be getting from squids when you fish them up. They're the level 1 tier sea creature that you can fish up. And basically, you're going to be getting some ink sacks from them when you kill them. You're going to have to fish up 40 ink sacks to be able to craft this. So that's not too many, but it's not nothing either. It will probably take you a decent while with like a lower level rod, most likely. Um, it, you're going to get the dark bait recipe. So the dark bait recipe, uh, what the dark bait does is it gives you a higher chance to catch rare sea creatures during the night. Uh, and it, to craft it, you need an ink sack and one raw fish. So it's not that expensive to craft. Uh, you are going to need quite a bit of ink sacks to be able to craft a bunch of them. Uh, but it is a pretty good bait, and uh, it works very well in during the night. But doesn't do anything during the day, so don't use it during the day. Uh, but at night, you're definitely going to be using want to be using dark bait. Uh, and at day, I generally use spiked bait. Sometimes I just use spiked bait all the time. Because uh, it's, well, simpler to use sometimes. Uh, but dark bait is better for catching the rarer sea creatures. Alright, so now in the salmon collection, we have two different types of baits in here. We have the minnow bait and we have the fish bait. The minnow bait is going to come from raw salmon 1, so 20 salmon collected. And the fish bait is going to come from 1,000 salmon collected. So obviously you can't necessarily craft them both at the same time. Uh, but let's just go over the minnow bait first. So the middle bait is obviously going to be worse than the other one, uh, but it take what it does is it makes you fish 15% faster uh, when you're using one. Uh, now to craft it, it's going to require two raw fish. Generally, I wouldn't advise using this one, uh, just because it, it doesn't make that big of a difference, and it, it just yeah, it, it, it's just not really worth getting. Even though I know it is probably one that you'll have access to earlier on. Uh, now, the only reason you would maybe want to do this is if you don't, can't afford to use any other bait and uh, you have a lot of cash uh, or coins on the server, on Skyblock, uh, then you can actually buy raw fish and be able to just craft a bunch of these if you buy it from the Fisherman uh, NPC, which I'll show here in a second. All right, so here's where the Fisherman NPC is. Uh, so you spawn right here when you go to a hub. Uh, you're going to want to turn left. You'll see the Lumber Merchant and the Adventurer. Uh, then you're going to come over here, you'll see Jamie, by the way, if you haven't got your rogue sword, you're going to click on this guy and he'll give you one. Uh, and what it does is it basically lets you run really fast uh, when you right click it. And it actually stacks if you click it like twice, you can run even faster and faster. Yeah, anyways, uh, later on you'll learn that that's actually pretty cool and you can go like speed five and stuff. Uh, but yeah, well, <laughs> that's not the purpose of today's video. So yeah, anyway, so here's the fish merchant. Uh, the fish merchant here, you can buy a Magnet 1 fishing rod. So if you're just starting out, you, you might want to buy this uh, if you don't want to bother with crafting a fishing rod, but really you don't need to bother with it. Uh, but as you can see here, you can buy raw fish, you can buy salmon, you can buy clownfish, and you can buy pufferfish. So if you don't have, but you do have to have the recipe to be able to craft uh, the bait anyways, uh, but you could still be able to buy the fish. So per se, if you did like you're just starting out fishing, but you've got up to 20 salmon collected, and you can craft that uh, minnow bait. You could buy raw fish uh, for 20 coins per, uh, which I know is not exactly the cheapest, but if you do want to have, uh, you do want to fish a little bit faster, uh, it obviously would help you, uh, well, just in general, gain XP faster, or gain fishing XP faster. So if you do want to use it, you can, uh, but, you know, yeah. Uh, also, you can buy puffer fish as well if you do want to use that later for the spiked bait. Uh, you do have to have the puffer fish 5 collection anyways to be able to craft it, but as I said, you know, 
You could even just find someone uh, at a fishing pond that looks like they're that's using this kind of bait. You'll see them using it. And they might be willing to just craft it for you if you have bought the puffer fish or have the puffer fish and fish. They might just be able to craft they might just craft it for you. And be like, here you go. Uh but yeah, in general, I don't like to advise that necessarily, just because it you know, some people aren't always gonna be like just, yeah, sure, I'll craft it, you know. Alright guys, so now we're on to the next type of bait, the fish bait from the raw salmon six collection. So a thousand raw salmon is required for this. Uh, what this does is you have a 30% faster catch time. So compared to the minnow bait, it's basically twice as fast. Uh, now this one you may want to use. Uh, now the reason you may want to use this is just if you really want to be fishing faster uh, rather than fishing sea creatures more. Uh, as I said, like the spiked bait and the uh, dark bait are primarily to catch more sea creatures slash rare sea creatures. Uh, and stuff like this, uh, the fish bait is to catch faster. Now catching faster, I haven't actually compared the two, uh, so it may be somewhat worth it uh, to craft it. It does require two raw fish and a salmon, uh, but if you want to test it out, you can. I, I don't. I haven't really heard anybody suggesting to use it, but it, you know, technically, technically it could be decent. Uh, so you you may want to consider using it. All right, guys. So now on to the next type of bait. We have light bait. So this is the bait that I told you guys that for some reason isn't very good. But that really doesn't make that much sense. Like, it should be better than it is because it should be equivalent to dark bait, but for during the day, you know? Uh, but for some reason, it's just not. I don't know if that was a bug or what, but it's just not that good right now. But I'll go over how to make it anyways. So you need 25 prismarine crystals collected to be able to craft it uh, in the prismarine crystals collection. Uh, it's going to... Uh, give you the light bait which has a higher chance to catch rare sea creatures during the day for some reason it's not that much higher of a chance uh because for some reason the spiked bait is better than it during the day uh i'm not sure why but yeah uh so it takes prismarine crystals in the left and raw fish in the middle to craft as i said i wouldn't craft it right now uh but i imagine at some point they're going to change it to be equivalent to dark bait and then it probably might be worth using. Uh, it really depends. All right, so now also in the Prismarine Crystals collection is the Blessed Bait, which is at 400 Prismarine Crystals. So to craft it, it's going to require one gold block, one raw fish, and one Prismarine Crystal. So obviously the gold block isn't that expensive. Uh, you will maybe need a gold minion running if you want to really actually pursue this bait. Uh, or maybe a couple uh, to really like actually get some stocked up and then you could maybe take them off uh, unless you do for some reason have a large stockpile of gold uh, then this won't be a problem at all for you uh, but what it does is it has a 15% chance to get double drops from items fished uh, and uh, yeah I generally don't see anybody using this uh, because double drops isn't really that good uh, it's good if you're catching something very rare, like Titanic XP bottles, uh, but primarily you're not going to really want to worry about it, because, yeah, so, I wouldn't worry about Blessed Bait, but, you know, it is from the Prismarine Crystals 6, uh, so, you know, it's okay, I guess, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise really get focusing on it at all. Alright, now on to the best bait there is but it's also by far the most expensive to craft. So it's up to you whether it's worth it or not. Uh, but it's it, the whale bait inside lily pad collection. You can craft it at lily pad six, which I actually just unlocked. <laughs> uh, it takes, so lily pad six is 1500 lily pads collected. Uh, so then you get the whale bait recipe. Uh, the whale bait, what it does is a small chance to get double drops from items fished a higher chance to catch rare sea creatures, and a 20% faster catch time. Uh, so it is a very good bait. You're going to see why people don't generally use it, but it is very good, and it is worth crafting, uh, but it's not exactly the cheapest. Uh, and that is because it requires a fish bait, a light bait, a dark bait, and a blessed bait to be able to craft. Uh, also, we don't know what it means by a small chance for double drops and a higher chance to catch rare sea creatures, uh, so we don't know the percentages exactly, uh, but it is the best bait in the game. That's obvious. Uh, that's well known. 
but like how much better it is is unclear because the percentages aren't given uh which is the same for the dark and light uh the the higher chance well what is the higher chance uh you know when other things say like 30 percent faster catch time 50 percent to get double drops and then on this one it's like small chance and higher chance it's like Okay, what do you mean by small and higher? Do you mean, like, do you get the 15% double drop chance with this? I don't know. Probably. Uh, the higher chance to catch rare sea creatures? Do you, what higher chance is that? Is it the same as the dark or the light bait? I don't know. Uh, and it's a 20% faster catch time, which is 10% slower than the fish bait. Uh, but it is definitely worth crafting, but it's not very cheap to craft, I guess you could say. Uh, but it is worth it. It's just, you're going to have to deal with crafting them, and also, uh, it's by far the most expensive to craft, but also, it is the best because it's a little bit of everything. So that's always nice. Anyways guys, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, maybe consider liking, it helps promote the video and helps me out as well. Uh, and also, if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing for more content here on my channel every day. Uh, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed, and peace out guys.